Hi, I'm Lori Dobson, and it's February 22nd, 2021. I'm on the island of the Great Cranberry. It's evening, as you can see. I'm sitting on a lot of emotion right now. Uh, actually, yesterday was a milestone for, for me. I, it was my sixth year in AA, and I was on a, a call tonight, and it was it was good to be talking to folks. And earlier today, I had heard an amazing video by somebody I, I really respect, um, Russell Brand, and uh, talking about talking about the power of things that we draw to ourselves. And I've heard this before, that you know our mind, you know our mind is vast, and we have more power than we realize. So I'm trying to. I think I've come to a point in my life where it's it's important to realize that minds are powerful, that we have more access to power in our lives than we understand, and that it's important to honor that in ourselves, to acknowledge it, because its potential is it, it's it's a scary power. So it's why we don't like to own it, right? We like to play the victim, like to think that things happen outside of our control because we don't like to think that there's some sort of a magnetic force between what we want so that we know what to ask for, so that we have it an, a, a, a hopeful, not exactly an expectation, but a hopeful desire that we could get our wishes met. And a lot of people play games with that, you know, they gamble with that. And um, I play bridge, my mom got me into it uh, over 10 years ago. So yeah, 12 years ago, I've been playing a while. And, uh, I, you know, people, people gamble, people gamble because they think they have a certain, uh, I, I mean, I've seen people with luck, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing. And, and it's a, it's a phenomenon. People know lady luck, you know, they, they've seen people on a roll, you know, on a roll and there's something to it, but we don't, know what it is but we do know also that some people can have terrible luck and they seem to just not be it doesn't seem to be fair whatsoever and it's um it's kind of a desperate feeling when you feel like you're in the grip of something that's taking you down and you don't know what to blame and you can't think that it's that you have to blame yourself because how could you be the one that's caused such horror such grief <clears throat> actually in AA part of the responsibility part of the in, in inventory is about taking responsibility for your for your life <clears throat> whatever happens because on some level and you may not know it at the time but on some level you didn't choose differently and what came to you came to you and we're in life to find that we can always always change our mind we always have the the power I, unless we've been rendered in Kuwait, but <clears throat> even then, I think a lot of people have power, even to the end of their lives. People have the power to stay alive beyond what we would normally think of. And then when people decide to give up, you know, you see them leave quickly. I think a lot of our lives are, are to, to a great extent, are controlled by our own will and our own desires connected with the our higher power and uh, perhaps perhaps I, I, I would be willing to, to believe that people that deliberately join with a lower power do bring that on and they can have a maniacal kind of a of a success with that I suppose because I mean the mind can be a powerful tool either way free will right I think we most most of us believe in free will as nothing else explains this world at all but we have free will because we do we can choose things enormous enormous powers of choice so i had an <laughs> i just i just played a game of um oceanopoly with bob and i got really upset because i was losing badly m worse than i think i've ever lost t t t so so badly that it, it was scary because today was kind of a tricky day for me. It was, it turned out well because I decided to be productive. Um, I did a lot of cooking. I did a lot of stuff and 
I just felt, you know, did a video this morning. So I felt empowered as the day went forward. Um, and I already do cultivate a certain strength of mind by, by, by doing practice, deliberate practice to, you know, intentional, intentional work, uh, to go beyond my own well-being and hopefully to to make the world as as good a place as I can see to make it from day to day. And having said that, I know I need to find a way to be more in touch with my with my own internal higher power. And some people would say that's an external inner power or some people would say that's you, but whatever it is, I know I have it. I know I have that. And and when I was losing so badly and getting so angry, really angry, because it was like, how could this be happening? And that dread inside knowing it's happening because I'm projecting fury. I mean, I was taking it personally to the point where it was completely not fun to, to be playing with me. I, I have to own that. Bob, on the other hand, was making money hand over fist. And he was cashing in all his hundreds or fives. I mean, it was, you know, he had a stack of fives and I'm like mortgaging all my stuff. And I, I was not overbuying. I was just, he was, I was going to jail. Like, th I, I, I don't need to tell you the game, but trust me when I say that it, it was, it was so bad that I finally realized it's me doing it. It has to be, and that has to be the point of this, because because sometimes the universe does tell you things, and I got told my my mind is more powerful than I want to accept that it is, that it really is as powerful as I believe I can be, and that I must at this time recognize it and step into that power that I have. I don't really know what to do. I just know that it's there, and it doesn't do me any good to deny it. And it doesn't do me any good to be angry at the world when on a certain level, I'm cooperating with that world I'm, on a certain level. I'm drawing that energy on a certain level. I'm helping create a negative energy by my energy. I would really like to blame certain people, certain um, situations, certain, certain events for what goes on. And I'm not saying, I'm not one of those people who thinks that, you know, that I have the power to create this this whole hor horrible pandemic thing. But I really wonder to what extent I have cooperated with it and made it more real, made it more of a thing, made it um, more fixed in people's minds by fighting it. Um, th that's probably not a really useful way to think because you can second guess yourself all the time and on everything. And then you, you're afraid to just act, just move, just be in the world. Pure action, just pure connection, you know, not, not coming from a mental either or place. You know, I drive myself crazy enough without needing to do that. And so tonight I just, I just want to say, as I'm sitting here accepting because acceptance has been a, a big message today. That I accept that I have a, a new found power. There are promises. The ninth step promises really are real. I've just gone through six years, so it does make sense in a way. It kind of makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't be sitting here doing this video if I hadn't lost so badly. I, it, it, was, it, it really went beyond the law of averages how much I was getting this constant thing happening. It almost made it made me feel like there was some sort of mermaid glee that she could give Captain Bob all the goodies and I was left to pay. I'm so, so, I'm embarrassed about that. But, in, you know, it's, it's a good learning, it's, it's a good learning tool to see life as positively giving you really great opportunities to see how you put out there who you are and what you want to have come back 
And what you, ha what you have come back is what you put out there. I mean, I do think that's true. And I think it's, it's, it's uh, accepting that on a deeper level. I'm very humbly recognizing that you're not the initiator of the universe, but in some level, you do participate in creation every day. I do, anyway. Or <laughs> creation or destruction. Uh, I kind of destroyed the game because it ended, but you know what? I'd rather be doing this right now. Monopoly gets kind of mercenary for me, even if it's with fish. So you guys have a good night. Uh, thank you for being there, and thank you for those of you who do listen because I I take this I take this seriously. I I feel honored to to be able to put out my beliefs in the world, and I'm glad I can communicate them and feel confident this way. And uh, I'm glad that I'm still learning lessons because um, that means that means I can do more. I can do, but I can I can I matter to the universe. It's kind of a good feeling, and all of you do too. It's all right. Have a good night. Bye.